Well, Ravens flock, we knew this day was coming. We knew it was coming for quite some time. In fact, I expected this to happen during this offseason because I felt like it was his last ride. Everybody's heard now, Marshall Yonda is announcing his retirement. He is done with football. After 13 great seasons, he's out. Eight-time Pro Bowler, first ballot Hall of Fame, in my opinion. That, that guy is a first ballot Hall of Fame guard, no question. He's been the model of consistency since he first got drafted and gave Baltimore 13 consistently great years. I'm going to miss him. I'm, I'm really going to miss him. It's tough. It is tough. And seeing this right now, of all times, as a Raven fan, you feel kind of two ways. In one, you're definitely going to miss him, and you feel happy for him if this is what he wants. Because, you know, at the end of the day, this is not an easy game, and what it does to you physically and mentally is exhausting. But, you know, for a lot of guys, the reason they end up retiring or being forced retired is because of injury. But on the other side, there are plenty of guys that are able to stay healthy and play for 12 to 15 plus years. But at the end of the day, it starts getting to you mentally. This doesn't seem like it's a physical thing for Yonda because let's be real. Yonda could probably play another two to three seasons as a guard. He's fine. But this seems more like a um mentally type of thing and just a family situation he wants to spend more time with his family probably something like that which i'm perfectly fine with i'm a miss him and i'm perfectly fine with the decision but you know there's still gonna be ravens fans out there that are looking at this and saying why now why now look at the state of the team we've got this star quarterback in lamar jackson that just finished winning unanimous mvp we've got young bucks at the receivers the receiving and the tight end you got you know, Hayden Hurts, Mark Andrews, Miles Boykin, and Hollywood Brown. You know what Hollywood brings to the table. We've got receivers, and we're only going to improve that core as well, as well as a nice offensive line, because you still got Stanley there. You still got Orlando Brown. We've got great guys all around on the offense, and we've still got a pretty great defense as well, a top five defense in my opinion. You know, I at least top 10, but I believe top 5. But you've got a great offense and a great defense, and this team's only going to get better because we're going to improve this offseason. And I can't wait to see what moves Eric DaCosta does, but we're going to improve this season. This is a team that can challenge for a championship right now. Why would you decide to retire right now when you could do it maybe a year or two later and cap it off with a Super Bowl run? And... You know, it, it just comes back to the mental state of this. Maybe he's just mentally done. He doesn't want to put the team in that type of situation where it's like, I'm not 100% here. I don't want you guys to continue, like, just putting me out there and having me play if my my heart's not into it. And if his heart's not into it and he feels like he's done, he's satisfied with his career, I'm perfectly fine with it. And that seems how it is, you know. If that's the case, I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm going to miss him. I'm really going to miss him. The colonel is gone. And we're obviously going to need to replace that guard position, which is what I believe Eric was prepared for because I think he's going to draft an offensive lineman. No question he's drafting an offensive lineman, and he's going to draft a guard to take that spot for Yonda. I just see it coming, or at least to add to that depth. I, I expected Yonda to retire after this season, which is why I really hope the Ravens would make it to the Super Bowl because it just felt like this was Yonda's final ride. But sadly, we got upset in the divisional round. It happens. Not every... Hall of Fame player can go out on top. You know, you rarely see that happen. But it is what it is, man. So, Yonda, thank you for everything you've done for Baltimore. Thank you for being consistently great throughout your career. And, yeah, thank you for just protecting, you know, first protecting Flacco during our whole five years where we were in contention for championships and we actually ended up winning, getting to the Super Bowl and winning. Thank you for that protection of Flacco. And thank you for protecting Lamar Jackson these last two seasons. It's just, you've done such a great job, man. You've done such a great job. I appreciate everything you brought to the team. You, you were definitely my favorite offensive lineman. I know people don't really talk about who's your favorite offensive lineman because everyone likes to forget about the offensive lineman, but they have the most important job out of, everybody, out, out of everybody else. They have the most important job because if you don't get protection, your quarterback can't find his receivers. Your quarterback can't do anything without an offensive line. And he was the leader of our offensive line. 
And while he was there, for the most part, we've been consistently playing well on the offensive line. That's never necessarily been a problem. Now, of course, there have been there, there have been holes in there during some times. And, you know, there were times where Flacco was getting sacked too much or Lamar, especially his rookie season, was getting sacked too much. But, like, for the most part, it was never Yonder's fault. Yonder always did his job. When he was out there, he was always doing his job and he was always protecting the quarterback. So I'm going to miss you, Yonder. Thank you for everything you've done for Baltimore. Enjoy retirement. I can't wait to see you get inducted to the Hall of Fame. That's all I got, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.